hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. Tonight I'm going to be doing Sexy Wine Bomb. See it? Yeah. Uh, blends Have More Fun. A playoff Blondes Have More Fun. This is the 2012 California Red Wine. Every year they change the uh, makeup of this wine, the, the grapes that go into it. 2012 was Shiraz Syrah, it's the same grape, um, Merlot, Zinfandel, and Petit Syrah. I don't know the percentages, but they're the four grapes that were in it the, in 2012. Um, cost me $8.99 and 13.5% uh, by volume. Of course it is, uh, I think I said a California uh, red wine, red blend. And one more time on that, uh, pretty cool. I guess. Um, this was the uh, foil that was on top that I took off. It's red and has a bomb on it. <laughs> and then it had a real cork and the cork just has some writing uh, in cursive. It's not just sexy wine. It's the bomb. Sexywinebomb.com So, let's see what we got here. Anything else of interest on this bad boy? Um, it's the super sexy blend. I don't even read all the crap. Alright. There we go. That's right. What we got there? I think it's a uh, medium reddish brown color. 2012. So six years, right? It's, uh, it's probably a little too cold, this wine. Had it out a little bit, but uh, and it's uh, been bottled up for a while, six years. So we got to let this uh, let this uh, air out, and as it warms up and the air gets to it, it'll uh, what they call open up, which means that the uh, bouquet will uh, become more intense. See how it's fogging up my little glass here. Hmm, it's got the typical uh, what I call it typical. Smells. Let me see if I can get something else out of here. Hmm. Kind of smells like, and you're gonna like this, I think. Smell a cherry pie. I'm thinking this wine here. Uh, we'll see. I think it's gonna be. Uh, they suggest um, beef, lamb, veal, and poultry. So they've left nothing out. <laughs> Basically, meat. But let's see if um, if this is a sipper. If this would be good just to drink, yes, with food, but by itself, like out here on this beautiful day. So cherry pie and a little chocolate note. And a little bit of alcohol smell, a little burn, a little bit. It's only 13.5, but I smell it. Now this will change and open up uh, after the video's over. Sorry. But for now, that's the first thing. I'm not going to sit here and analyze this all day. The first thing I smell is the first thing you're going to smell probably. And so that's the most important, right? Let's not get ridiculous. All right. All right. Let's, let's taste it. Nice and fruity. Um, it's not a sweet wine, but any time a wine is fruity, fruit forward, um, it, it, you perceive it as being sweet. Uh, not sweet, sweet, but sweeter. So you almost get like a Swedish, um, not Swedish, sweet ish taste up front um, of nice fruits, nice red fruits, all right? And I'm sure different people would pick out different stuff out of this. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. And then after you swallow it, you get some of the tannin and the acid. Uh, tannin's on the top of your tongue. It's that dried out feeling like you get when you drink iced tea. And uh, on the sides is where you get uh, the uh, acidic acid, like the lemonade type stuff. So it's well balanced. It's not real acidic or real uh, tannic. It's, it's uh, what they call soft. Um, 
So that's good. You get down the back side, gives a little structure, you know, something else besides just being fruity, you know, and have that little tan and a little bit of acid adds to the combination of it. What they call and they call that um, you know, the more stuff you taste, the more things happening, the more uh, you hear people saying it's complex. Okay. Meaning that you're getting some fruit, you're getting some, uh, um, you know, different kind of, maybe some wood, fruit, flowers, uh, people pick out different things, and then you get some um, some tannin, and you get a little acid, and you add all that up, and it's, oh, it's complex, and it's changing, and, um, you know, it's got structure with the, if it has a lot of um, uh, tannin. This isn't all that, okay? This is, uh, this, this has some light uh, red fruits, all right? Let's see if we can. You know, I can see where people could pick out um, the cherries. Uh, you could pick out plum. Uh, different people are going to uh, taste different things in here. Uh, there may be some raspberries. There's a little bit of tartness. Um, you know, somebody, if they say they taste blueberry, blackberry, it all tastes that could come out of here. Just like the smells. Some people might smell some flowers in here, depending on what they do and how much they garden and stuff. They're around flowers a lot. Say, yeah, you know. Uh, a lot of times wine will smell like uh, violets or, or something like that. And you could pick all that out of here, especially if it's, um, you know, suggested to you. I try not to, I never read that on the wine because I like to do it myself. But so, uh, anyway, I was talking about all that structure and everything. This one isn't, isn't, a, isn't a big wine. That's another term, uh, meaning it has all that stuff. It's a good one. It's, it's, uh, is it uh, uh, a sipper? Meaning drink it, just sit out here tonight and sip it. Yes, you don't need food with it. Um, I think it's a light one, you know, picnic, what I call picnic wine or pizza wine, where you have pizza, hot dogs, burgers, stuff like that. You can have it with steak, you can have it with everything, anything you want. But uh, So because of the light tan, uh, to where it's not really, you know, what they call gripping you, I'm trying to explain these terms to you. Uh, it's more of a fruit forward, uh, softer, silkier type of, of wine. And you can probably pick out about, if you take your time, three or four uh, fruits out of there. And if you want to smell it, play with it as it develops and warms up, probably three or four um, different kinds of um, maybe some fruit or some uh, some flowers and stuff like that. And so it's fun to sit out here and just drink it, relax doing it. Uh, now, uh, other things that I like to talk about. So if no one's ever heard of this, would this be cool to bring to a party? Yeah, because it's $8.99, right? It's not going to kill you. Uh, it's got a cool label that I think is different. And yes, that's part of it, uh, the marketing. Um, and it's it's uh, a lot of people would like it because it's not a big bold red. It's it's a, it's a easy drinker, you know. It's not candy, but it's not it's not a killer, you know. If you like red wine, you could still like this. And if you don't really like it, you may you may uh, be able to drink it anyway. So for those reasons, you know, I'd recommend it for uh, you know for whatever uh, occasion you might have. Um, that's fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. And from Hillbilly Wine 101, everybody. Cheers.